2 a.m. so that we may bring you the following seven first alert weather special, Climate Matters. shut the door and prayed. I'm actually in a car and I'm looking at a tornado right now. It's a big boom and uh, she ran for cover. This is Climate Matters, a seven first alert severe weather special. Hurricanes, floods, tornadoes, droughts, our planet Earth turning every 24 hours and with each new day, new weather patterns. And at times, those new weather patterns can be devastating. It doesn't feel real, but your news helped because the reporting was right on. And then there are the patterns that trigger conversations of climate change. And there's general agreement that temperatures will warm. They're going to warm fairly dramatically for our grandchildren. Over the last few decades, discussions about climate change have been contentious. But this show is not about politics, economics, or social policy. It is about how climate change could affect severe weather right here in Southeast Michigan. Are the trends of the past over? What can we expect in the years to come? Severe weather here in Michigan touches us all in one way or another. In the next half hour ahead, we're going to give you the tools and information that you need to stay safe. It's what you'd expect from a 7 First Alert weather special. But we're also going to take a unique look at how change in our climate may affect the severe weather we have to deal with here in southeast Michigan. You know that climate change is a very hot topic, pun intended. Because of that, there's been more and more research and modeling looking into a cause and effect relationship between climate change and severe weather. First, we'll look to establish if the climate is actually warming on a global scale and here in the United States as well. Then, if it is, we'll look at the possible changes that warming could have on our severe weather patterns, frequency, and intensity. We want to get to the core of those possible changes without discussing the causes of any climate change. This is not a social, political, or economic discussion about climate change. We do want to invite you to tweet us and share your comments about Michigan's severe weather and how climate matters during the show. Let us know what you think about this possible connection. We'll put some of your tweets up live as we go. We will also be hosting a live web chat on WXYZ.com following the 7 First Alert weather special for one hour answering your questions and listening to your ideas. So before we get started, let me just do a little brief explanation here of the difference between weather and climate. Now, weather is the short-term changes in the activity of the atmosphere, emphasis on the short-term. It happens on a scale of minutes to hours to perhaps as long as a week. On the other hand, climate is the trend of weather over a much longer period of time, many months, decades, and centuries. So a cold week in the summer or Superstorm Sandy, they're weather events, but a temperature trend over decades is climate. So with that in mind, let's look at the climate and see if it's warming on a global scale first. The vast majority of the world's scientists, the vast majority will tell you that the Earth's atmosphere is in a warming phase regardless of the cause. All three major global surface temperature studies show that the Earth has warmed since about 1880 with the most warming occurring over just the last 40 years. Most scientists also think that the trend will continue. Now there are multiple climate models out there from all kinds of groups of every political persuasion. None of those climate models predict lower temperatures. None of them predict temperatures are going to stay the same. Take a look at the evidence the National Oceanic and Atmospheric Administration, or NOAA, has discovered. The average global temperature has increased 1.4 degrees over the last century. Now, I know that doesn't seem like a big change, but over the entire globe, that is a huge effect. And the decade, 2000 to 2010, was the warmest on record. And the year, 2010, tied with 2005, is the warmest year on record on a global scale. So, what about climate changes here in the United States? The evidence strongly shows the same trend as the rest of the world. You can see that since the late 19th century, there is a very clear upward increase in temperatures across the United States. Now, this is an important conclusion because it shows that America's climate is following the same trend as the world's climate. NASA also reports that since 1950, the number of record highs in the United States has been increasing, while the number of record lows 
has been decreasing. So if we start with the assumption of a warming climate, especially the climate close to home, then the question is, could that warming climate change our severe weather season? We will look into that question when we come back. Plus, a look back at the Dexter tornado from one year ago and how climate affects our weather here in southeast Michigan. Any weather group worth their salt's got the own usual gear. And here at 7 First Alert, we've got a lot of high-tech equipment, big-time technology to make sure that you stay safe during storm season. But the most convenient way to stay safe when severe weather strikes everywhere all the time, it's the Storm Shield app. It's like having our 7 First Alert weather team in the palm of your hand. We'll tell you how you can get it for your mobile device. 